I want to talk to you now about the gauge widget in Arduino Cloud. Um, you can link the gauge widget to lots of different inputs and variables uh, in your Arduino Cloud. But as an example to help you understand it better, um, there's no better option than reading the temperature. So the gauge gives you a perfect visualization for that kind of data, displaying the readout in um, a semicircle fashion. So let's set one up and you can see it in action then you can start adding them to your projects. Okay. Over here on our Maker 1010, you can see we've got a DHT22 temperature sensor and that's connected to pin seven and the outer pins are just plus and minus to power up the sensor. Uh, over here on the screen, we've already set up the Make 1010 as a temperature sensor. And the variable that we've added is a float point number, because that's the kind of data we're getting in from the uh, temperature sensor. It sends all that in through that same pin, pin seven. Um, while we're here, let's just have a quick look at the sketch. Uh, and you can see we've added the DHT library for this type of sensor that covers various, uh, that covers the variations on the DHT22, DHT11 and so on. Uh, we've told it that the DHT pin is seven, uh, as you just saw over here on the board. The type is DHT22. And we initiate the uh, library here in setup and down here it's telling it to read the temperature. We've also got one set up for humidity, but it, it doesn't really matter for the gauge. We just want that one variable running. So let's move over to a dashboard. We've got an empty dashboard here. So let's add the wonderful gauge widget. We'll link it to the temperature reading that's coming from the DHT sensor. And I don't think we need to go all the way up to 100 degrees as it's the sensor would melt if that was the case. So I think it's probably going to top out around, let's say 45 degrees is about as much as we need. And since it's room temperature, it's probably not going to drop to zero either. So let's bump that up to 15, let's say as a minimum. Uh, and that way, the gauge readout that you're seeing is kind of a little more accurate since it's not having to span uh, quite such a range of different numbers. Uh, currently it's at 29, which is pretty warm, but that's right because it's really hot in here under the lights. Uh, if I breathe on the sensor, you should see that go up. Give it a second. There we go. And you can see that's just jumping up a little bit there. So we've got a really accurate reading. Very simple way to set up a temperature sensor, but also you can see how the gauge can be used to visualize all kinds of different data depending on what sort of input you send. Uh, really useful for home automation and IoT projects. Uh, great way to control data as well if you've got it moving in the other direction. So go and have a look at the cloud um, gauge widget, uh, set one up, and thanks for watching.